Here's Jordan Strack. Welcome into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. We've got just four shows left tonight. We've got a huge state playoff game in high school hockey between Northview and St. John's. But we start with our game of the week. It is the Boys City Championship between Rogers and Start. Rogers ran through the City League undefeated. They beat Start twice in the regular season. But the Spartans have had a great year as well. They've won eight straight games. Closing seconds of the first quarter. Rogers trails by six. Jemiah Neal. Almost a full court prayer. Sinks a buzzer beater there. Go to the second quarter. Tie game at 19. Closing seconds of the half. Adrian Michael outside the arc. A buzzer beater of his own. Let's go to the third quarter. Spartans leading. TJ Showers, a shake and bake move. Tough fadeaway three. Knocks it down. Start was up 11 late in the third quarter. But Rodgers would flip the switch. Jordan Kennard with his second three-pointer in a row, giving the Rams some life. And then in the fourth, Deshaun Nelson would take over down low. This bucket gives the Rams their first lead of the game, and Rodgers would not stop. They pull away in the fourth. They cap off a huge comeback to win their first City League title since 2012. And John Monk has more. Jordan, for two thirds of this game, it was all start. The Spartans had a 34 to 23 lead just at the end of the third quarter, but then two back-to-back -back three pointers from Jordan Kennard for Rogers sparked this comeback. And the fourth quarter was all about the big guys down low, both on offense and defense for the Rams. They ended up going on a 23 to 10 run to end this game, winning 50 to 44 and clinching the 2020 City League title. We rely on our defense and we rely on stops. And that's what we hung our hats on, that's what we hung our hat on tonight. We need that spark club off the bench. Came in, knocked down two shots, we got it going. Coach told us uh, basketball's about run. They made their run and we made ours. Luckily we made ours at the end. Those guys did a heck of a job. They two times to defend the champs. You gotta beat the champ to beat the champ. This caps off a perfect City League season for the Rogers Rams. And for start, their only City League losses were to Rogers. Reporting from Waite High School, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11. John, thanks to the track now. Always fun when these two rivals get together. St. John's and St. Francis Place was rocking. St. John's took an early lead in this game. Makes a fancy move like this from Brady Lichtenberg. Sweet little up and under lay in plus a foul. Second quarter though, St. Francis battles back. David Kaiser gets out to Sebastian McClellan wide open. That's a three ball. But this game is going to overtime. Titans down six looking to come back. Sam Swift, the corner three, no. But the freshman C.J. Hornby does hit from three. Titans getting right back in it. The Knights, however, just keep fighting. Stephen Kuaku battles his way into the paint and adds more to the St. Francis lead. They would get some revenge. They win it 50 to 46 in overtime. We battled, we battled, and we battled, and seniors stepped up. That's it, they, they just battled. I'm proud of them. My seniors just stepped up on senior night. It was amazing, man, you know. We lost the first one. And we had to go get revenge. And this is my senior night, my last time playing them, and I had to go out with a bang. Next up in the Three Rivers, Central Catholic making the quick trip out to Oregon to take on the Clay Eagles. First quarter of this one, Irish out to an early lead. Dominate Cole to a cutting Casey Hunt. He would lay it up and in. McClay would hang tough all night. Here's the senior, Dorian Myers, one-on-one. -on -one, takes it strong into the paint. A little contact, he pulls up, and he would connect. But Central too much though. Great ball movement here. John Zell Norris gives it up and then gets it right back in the corner for three. Irish win it 58 to 47. Two of the top teams in the league in this one. Lima Senior unbeaten in the track, making the trip up 75 to take on Finley. Trojans working. Luke Montgomery down low to AJ Adams. He lays it up and in for two. And then Finley again, Max Roth drives the basket, kisses it high off the glass, gets it to go. Trojans sticking around late. Brock McCrancy to the wing for Sam Wyrock. He buries a three ball, but the Spartans would hold on. Khalil Luster knocks down a long ball. Lima Senior goes undefeated in the track. They win it 60 to 58. To the Northern Lakes League. Perrysburg wrapped up a league title a week ago. Yellow Jackets on the home floor with Anthony Wayne. Good start in this one for Perrysburg. Drew Sims over to Drew Pauly. He drives right back to Sims. He knocks down a three from the wing. Jackets up early in this one. But Anthony Wayne would take over. Kyle Ray in the corner. Drives, kicks it out to Bobby Miller. Long range step back. Sweet looking move there. He had 20 generals rolling. Anthony Wayne getting it done defensively too. Off the inbounds. Ray tips it, gathers it. He would lay it in. Anthony Wayne wins 53 to 50. Staying in the NLL, Southview has lost three out of four, trying to bounce back at home against Springfield. Blue Devils on offense, Jasiri Williams to the corner for Denzel Stewart. Doesn't hesitate, knocks down a three ball. 
Cougars, Tommy McKinnon. McKinnon passes out to Grant Paul. He knocks down a three of his own, but the Blue Devils would prove to be too much down the strap. Bo Booker knocks down a jumper from the baseline. Springfield hands south to another loss, 55-51 the final. And our final stop in the NLL, Northview on the home floor. Wildcats welcoming Maumee out to Sylvania. Wildcats working on offense, working the ball around. Get it to the corner for Andrew Shadle. He would rise and knock down a three. He led the way with 19. Panthers now, David Walker, his layup off the mark, but Garrett White is there. He would clean it up and put it back up and in for two. For the Wildcats, just too much. Craig heaves it up court to Gavin DeWood. Northview would win it 69 to 49. All right, time out for our first break now. When we come back, we're heading out to Tamo for a big one in high school hockey. St. John's and Northview, both top 10 in Ohio and playing in the quarterfinals of the state tournament. We've got full coverage straight ahead on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Big Board Friday. 